Hello and welcome to Lorefan Gaming Plays Near Winter Nights. I'm your host Lorefan. In this Near Winter Nights build video, we're doing the Warrior Purple Dragon Knight build. This consists of a fighter, that's the main class, weapon master, and finally the Purple Dragon Knight. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more build videos like this. Do not forget to hit the notification bell so be updated and more. Now, the advantages. Obviously, this is going to be heavy in the melee department. Another good advantage is, is that you could easily uh, go from the fire to the purple dragon knight to the weapon master and back as a fighter. Now this advantage is the purple dragon knight's only 5 levels, some of the feats are less than desirable. And devastating crit will be uh, towards the high end of the uh, build. Other than that, this is a great melee build and it's wonderful for a certain module that definitely requires it. Well, for the most part. So let's go ahead and begin with the build video. Now, let's go ahead and do our gender and race real uh, quick. So, obviously, I'm going to say the best is humans due to the fact the extra feet and also the skill to actually get you faster to the purple dragon knight. Now, elves are uh, not bad. Dwarves are uh, pretty good for extra constitution. Elf, of course, for dexterity. Halfling and gnomes are good. However, you'll have to take a strength penalty. Half elves are uh, nice because there are uh, certain uh, abilities they have. Half orcs are great. However, you have to uh, build up on the intelligence. So, I did human for now. As for portraits, I always will repeat this. You have your own, well done. So we're going to go ahead and just pick the portrait. Now for classes, there's going to be a total of three of them. First of all, we're going to go through the fighter. That's going to be our main class for this uh, build. Next up is the purple dragon knight. Yeah, after four levels of it, we're going to go ahead and hit that. Yeah, in fact, we're going to get all the skill prerequisites done and the feet first. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do that next. After that is the weapon master, obviously. For only uh, seven levels. Yeah, we're going to get what we need from them and then go back to the fire for the rest of the build. This one is really simple and really easy to follow through. And yeah, see, I'm just uh, still on the Purple Dragon Knight just show you off what uh, it could do. Now, you got an alignment for uh, the Purple Dragon Knight is you have to be uh, non-evil and non-chaotic. Yeah, I'll uh, show you which alignments you cannot be. So for now, I'm going to go over this a few more seconds, especially for uh, this part, since we're only going to be able to do it for five levels. Now, if there's no five levels yet, yeah, we would have went through this all the way. So for now, after I uh, select the Weapon Master, just show you uh, just a quick uh, look over. Yeah, we're going to hit those uh, prerequisites on the way too. So we're going to pick Fighter. Now, alignment, you cannot be chaotic and you cannot be evil. So, no on the three chaotics, no on the three evils. You're stuck with lawful good, neutral good, lawful neutral, and true neutral. So, I'm just going to go ahead and pick lawful good for uh, RPing reasons since it's an honorable knight anyways. Now, ability score, our main focus will be strength. That's right, everyone. We're going to focus on that. Dexterity, constitution, intelligence, we're going to hit those exactly at 14. Yeah, let me get rid of that. Uh, wisdom and Charisma at 10. So we're going to be building up our strength like crazy. Yeah, this is going to be a very high strength build. So I'm just going to show you that one more time. 15 strength, 14 dex, constitution and intelligence. Wisdom and uh, Charisma at 10, obviously. So let's get to the skills next. Now this part will be uh, a bit of a confusion. So first of all, let's go ahead and just nail the prerequisites right now on the uh, spot. Well, actually, first of all, we're going to do is ride two points. We're going to stop there. That's right. Ride is one of the most useless skills for most of the modules, except for uh, one, the premium module, Neverwinter Nights, Wyvern Crown of uh, Cromir. Yeah, that one, that's only useful for that. Intimidate, we're going to just put one point there. Oh, don't worry. We're going to build that to four, or I should say five. Listen to, that's important. That's a prerequisite for the Purple Dragon Knight. Persuade one. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and put that there. Uh, let's see what else. Spot two. That's important. And my little sheet there. Uh, discipline at uh, four. That's going to be your uh, top skill there. And I decided to put one point for a tumble. If you don't have uh, the two skill points, just ignore the tumble. And, of course, we'll just go on. So we'll just keep it there. Uh, those are the skill points. Just remember, if you're not a human, you're going to have one intimidate. So that's just a warning, everyone. And now I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Get to the next part. So we got the skills for the Purple Dragon Knight. Now, the first feat we're going to pick, we're going to nail it for the Purple Dragon Knights. All we need to do is just level to uh, 5. So I did Mounted Combat, so it does it gives you 1 AC when you're on a mount, which is not bad at all. I mean, it's all right. And well, it's good for that one module, but still, you have to take it for the Purple Dragon Knight pre uh, Prestige class, unfortunately. Now, next up, your uh, second feat will be uh, Weapon Focus. 
I did longsword because that's a nice uh, traditional uh, one-handed weapon. Now, if you're not a human, those are the two feats you stop there, unfortunately. Now, if you're a human, next up on the list is dodge. So, uh, definitely use my uh, build uh, parts of the video for the feats just to, uh, you know, catch up on that. Eventually, when I get to uh, level 4, yeah, I'll uh, give you guys a choice on that. But for now, we're just going to get the dodge there. This will start the path of the weapon master for the feat end. And that's about it. So, let me go ahead and give my final advice. Now, this is a great human build. If you want to do the other races, that is fine. Just remember, you're going to be behind on one feat and two skill points. Other than that, just have fun with it. There's a special module that's a premium module. Uh, we'll actually do well with this uh, build too. So that's about my advice for the character creation. So once I am done naming the uh, character, we're going to go ahead and start up the build video. So let me uh, put that there. Let me go ahead and pick a voice. That sounds heroic. Yeah, that's uh, good. And deity, I decided picked here. I felt that was the best one. And voila. And I'll see you all at the leveling up part of the video. Now it's time to level up our fighter. Well, actually, two to four at this uh, point. So we're going to level up. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you uh, the feats human and non human. Since I'm playing a human, you'll see that selection. So for now, we're going to go ahead and put points in Discipline, and then afterwards, we're going to see if I can put points in Intimidate. Nope. We're going to put points into, I believe, Heal. This will be our second skill to max out, everyone. And now, I'm going to go ahead and pick Mobility. Now, this will obviously give you plus four dodge bonus to AC against foes. Now, if you're a non-human, pick Dodge. Yeah, you need to pick that. So there we go. We'll level up again. This time, we're going to pick Fire this time. Uh, level three. And we're going to uh, go ahead and select Discipline, Heal. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. And I believe I'll leave it there for now. And Intimidate, we're going to put it at 3 at this point. I could do a save point to put it for the Purple Dragon Knight, but it's up to you all on that. Still, we'll get that your way. Now, we're going to pick Expertise. This will give you plus 5 bonus AC, but minus 5 penalty to attack rolls. We activate this. Now, if you're not a human, Mobility, pick that. Now, this, this next one... We're going to do is besides picking strength for our ability score. Yeah, we're going to go all strength, everyone. You'll see. As uh, we're going to do is uh, discipline and heal. That's very important. We're going to max those out. And they'll be good at seven. And we can't do anything else. We'll hit OK. Now, very important. If you're a human, uh, go ahead and pick your weapon specialization. If uh, not, combat expertise. Pick that if you're not a human. This will catch you up on the Weapon Master uh, feats. Don't worry. You could go back in your fire levels later on and select the uh, other ones. So we're going to keep on going. Yeah, we'll just keep at it. And now we're going to pick Purple Dragon Knight. Yeah, we're going to be doing this for one to five levels of that. We're going to max this out. So since we cannot pick heal since it's cross class, this is the only uh, prestige class that heal is cross class. We're going to put Intimidate at five. I like to keep that a safe spot. The other points you could do uh, persuade if uh, not you don't like that put in something else now we got uh, two feats I'm gonna go over now first of all rally cry three times per day Knight has a shout to give all allies a uh, plus one bonus attack and 20 bonus to uh, land speed for one round okay I guess that's you're on uh, land just walking real uh, quick and uh, let me uh, go ahead and uh, see what the other one is okay it's a uh, heroic uh, Shield, yeah, there it is. Your ally gains plus four bonus to AC for uh, one round. Uh, this is good for uh, certain campaigns. Like, for example, you have Deacon with you. Pop this on him, and Deacon should be all right. And we're just keeping on the leveling up the Purple Dragon Knight. And we're going to go ahead and select Discipline. And then afterwards, you could do Persuade. That's optional. If not, put some points into uh, Tumble. That's a good one. Unless you max out, then Spellcraft. Now, uh, very important. Yeah, now, if you did what I did, if you're a non-human and skip the weapon specialization, then you're all right with spring attack. You'll be caught up on the weapon master feet and of that. So I did spring attack. Now, inspire courage gives you a uh, plus one bonus to attack and damage. Also, uh, some nice protection against mind altering spells. Now, what spring attack does is when you move around, you do not get opportunities to attacks against you. Pretty good for that feat. So we'll select it. So we keep on leveling up our purple dragon knight. Now we're at level three, the halfway point. Uh, point in the discipline, that's important. Persuade is optional. And I'm going to go ahead and just uh, put some points into uh, tumble. For me at least. 
And there you go. And there we got fear. Now fear is like casting this fear spell. However, it equals up to your character levels. Uh, also, your foes could resist that. So uh, do be careful. However, if you get this off, foes will run away from you. And that's a good thing. It's a nice uh, crowd controlling spell if you want to use it that way too. It's pretty good for, I say, as uh, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Really useful. So we'll keep on leveling up our Purple Dragon Knight. So we're going to go ahead now at level 8 and put it at uh, strength. Yeah, everything goes to strength, everyone. So it'll be uh, discipline for the skill, persuade. And I would say puts points in the tumble. Yeah, we'll get to uh, at least 20 for this uh, build video. Now we got ourselves some new feats here. And I'll explain. Oath of Wrath. So you select one foe, you swear to defeat, you get uh, attack bonuses against that foe, including also saves and skill bonuses at two against it. It lasts the number of rounds equals twice the level of his class. So you have a level five purple dragon, I think it is. Then it'll be uh, times 10, something like that. And the other one was just more uh, inspire courage. So we're gonna just keep on leveling up our purple dragonite. This will be the final time. So it'll be uh, discipline, persuade, optional, and I put points in the tumble. I felt like that was a great idea. Hit the OK button. Now we're gonna pick whirlwind. At this point, it's very important you get to whirlwind on both uh, ends. Now, if you pick weapon specialization as a uh, race, that's not a human. Then you have to do two levels as fighter in order to get whirlwind. That's a big warning. Oh, uh, don't worry. After we're done with the Weapon Master, we'll be back at the fire level. You can get that Weapon Specialization if you're not a human. Now, this is just like a very nice ability to have. Now, Final Stand is uh, your ally. When you use this, gain 2d10 hit points, which is a good defensive skill. And that is it for the Purple Dragon Knight. Next stop is the Weapon Master. Now, for the next seven levels, it's going to be straight up Weapon Master. Now, if you didn't listen to my advice at all for, I should say, Weapon Specialization, you're going to need two more Fire levels. But for now, if you did, well, welcome to being a Weapon Master. So, we're going to go ahead and pick that. Hit the OK button. And let me uh, make sure I just uh, do that right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do Discipline. And I'm going to try to catch up much as possible with Heal since that will be our... Uh, Second class skill to max out. Now we got weapon of choice. Whatever uh, weapon focus you uh, pick, then do so. Now if there's two weapon focuses, well pick your best one. And uh, Kai damage, what that does is, is uh, uh, for uh, one use of it, you do maximum damage with your uh, weapon of choice, which is a good thing. And obviously weapon of choice is a gateway to many other uh, weapon master feats. So we're going to keep on leveling up on our weapon master. Discipline heal. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and max that out. Hit the OK button, and sorry, no feats at all. So we're gonna just keep on going. Now we're at level three, Weapon Master. Hit the OK button. Uh, another set of fours. So we got strength. Yeah, fours as in four levels. And this is a strength belt. So also for skills, discipline, heal. I decided to put points in the tumble. Now if you already got somehow uh, tumble maxed out one way or another, pick something else like spellcraft. Now we're gonna do improve critical. Now this is what's nice about it. So you're uh, Threat rolls instead, for example, 19 through 20 in order to get a critical hit will now be 17 through 20. Now, this stacks with Keen and another uh, Weapon Master feat we're going to get later on in this uh, setup here. Well, actually, this part of Weapon Master. So, we're going to level up. We're going to do Discipline and Heal. We're going to just keep on going. Hit that tumble. Now, every time we level up a Weapon Master, we get more use of Kai damage. So, keep that in mind. We're going to check everything else out. Okay. And no feats there. Sorry about that. We're going to do Weapon Master again. We're going to do Discipline Heal. And we're also going to go ahead and uh, see if I got to put points in the tumble if I can. Nope. Cross class maxed out. We're going to go ahead and do Spellcraft. If you can't do any others, just store the spell points or find something else you want to do. And now we got is uh, two feats to do. Now the first one is Superior Weapon Focus. Gives you plus one uh, bonus to all attack rolls with your weapon of choice. Mine says long sword, yours may be varied. Increase multiplier, increase your multiplier by one. Long sword was uh, times two. See, now it's times three with a long sword. That's very good when you get a critical hit. So we're gonna keep on leveling up our uh, weapon master. Now we're at six. Discipline heal. We're gonna go ahead and do that. And uh, see here, tumble. We have points in the tumble and that's it. Now, uh, next thing up is I was trying to look for was his, uh, there we go, power attack. 
Now, power attack's uh, great. This is like a gateway to many. I do many uh, of those, uh, what you call it, other feats. Yeah, this is all way to devastating crit, too. So we're going to level up one more time for our weapon master. This is going to be the final one for this uh, prestige class. Put points in strength, everyone. So we're going to do discipline heal. We'll max those out. Can't do a uh, tumble, so you know what? We're going to go ahead and do spell craft. Yeah, we're going to start catching up on that, at least. So we'll hit the OK on that. And Kai Critical. Now this uh, feat, what it does is it gives you plus two in the threat range. So in other words, instead of, for example, 17 through 20, now it's 15 through 20. Add keen to it, you do a lot more crits. Certain weapons are more critical than others. Now we're gonna go ahead and pick Fighter. So what we're gonna do is uh, Discipline Heal. And let's see here, Tumble. And hit the, uh, let's see what else, hit the OK button. Sorry, no feats to everyone, so just remember that. And we cannot do Purple Dragon Knight anymore because that's the five levels it's out. We're not going to do any more of the Weapon Master, so the rest of this uh, build will be a fighter. So we're going to do uh, the Spin the Heal in the fire levels. And let's see what else I could do. Okay, I can't do that. Put some points in the Spellcraft. And now we're going to pick Cleave and Great Cleave. So if you have not done it yet for Weapon Specialization, use one of those feat points for it. So it'll be uh, cleave and, of course, uh, weapon specialization. You want to boost up that DPS damage. Hit the OK, and that should do it. We're going to just keep on leveling up and just keep at it. And uh, let me make sure I have my notes right. OK, we'll level that up. And let's see what else. Now, what's nice besides putting in a heal and, uh, of course, uh, discipline and tumble. There's no feats there. Cleave is you kill one foe, and then you get a chance at another foe. Great cleave, you kill one foe, you keep on going and going and going until you uh, don't get a kill. Now, for level 20, what we're doing right now is we put points into strength. You saw that beforehand. Discipline heal, obviously max it out. I did spellcraft. And um, you could do uh, blind fighting or better yet, great cleave. I did great cleave if I was, say, for example, a dwarven uh, fighter slash uh, purple dragon knight and weapon master. Since I'm a human, I felt like blind fight was better, so this way I have my chances improving against invisible foes. Yeah, certain ones go into visibility, which sucks. But this feat will give you an edge. So here we go, and let's go into epic levels. Now we're officially, like I said before, into the epic levels. Rest of the uh, leveling up will be the fighter, so that's really easy. So we're going to go ahead and do discipline, heal, tumble. Yeah, we're at uh, caught up with our persuade now, so that's good news. And we'll hit the OK. And let's see what else I'm going to go ahead and get this time. And I'm trying to find it. I decided to do toughness, so this way you boost our hit points up. Now, at one point, I will definitely point out blind fighting if you want to go that route. So we're now epic characters, so I'm not going to go over the feat for that. So we get gateways to other good things. So we're going to do discipline heal, and let's see what else I am going to do. Okay, I got points, and I can't do persuade, and of course, uh, tumble, unfortunately. I could do spellcraft. We'll put those two points into that. Now, next up, we're going to do Epic Weapon Focus. This is important for all races. Anyway, so your character gains plus two uh, bonus attacks with the weapon of choice. In my case, a longsword. Yours might be a uh, warhammer or a great axe. I'm just giving out samples, everyone. So we're going to level up, discipline, heal, tumble. I decided to do that first since I'm going to get to 20 and tumble. So we're going to level up. We're going to do a strength, everyone. So we're going to keep on going on that strength train. And we're going to level up our fire some more with discipline heal. And I can't do tumble. I decide to persuade and spellcraft. And we're going to cross class uh, max out that. So next up is weapon epic. Uh, I should say epic weapon specialization. Apologize for that. And anyways, we're going to do great strength too. So epic weapon specialization character gains plus four bonus to all attacks using that weapon of choice. And we get plus one strength, everyone. So that's a good thing. Forgot about the epic weapon focus feat. You gain plus two to your weapon of choice. So we're going to be doing some damage with our weapon of choice. So level up fighter, discipline heal. I decide to do tumble. No feats. I'm sorry for that. It's a rare occasion, but oh well. Keep on going on the fighter. The usual suspects for the skills. Now persuade, I'll say it's optional. You could put in something else. You could try to max out spellcraft and other things. And now uh, next stop, we're going to go ahead and uh, pick is uh, Epic Proudness. This will give us a uh, uh, plus one bonus to all attacks, which is a good thing. 
Yeah, see, we got that jacked up already, so that's good. And then we're leveling up our character some more, so we're going to do his Discipline Heal and uh, Tumble. So now we're going to gain extra AC by one. And now I am going to go ahead and select, where is it at? Okay, sorry about that. Great Strength plus two. So we get another boost in our strength. So now we're at this point, rushing is to overwhelming crits and devastating crits. So we're going to get plus one in strength. Yep, get that there. Now we're going to do discipline, heal, and let's see what else. Persuade. And since so we're going to do that. And spellcraft. Now we got ourselves a shot at another uh, feat. Overwhelming crits. So anytime we do a critical hit... It depends on our multiplier. We get extra damage in that. So that's good. Extra damage is nice if you land a critical hit. So we're going to keep on leveling our fire with Discipline Heal. And I am going to go ahead and, and uh, let's see. Oops. I was supposed to do Tumble. Yeah, we'll do that. And no feats. I'm very sorry about that. I want to apologize. So we'll just keep on leveling up our fighter with Discipline Heal. And let's see what else. Okay, we can't do uh, Tumble. One point Spellcraft and one point Persuade, which is always optional. And now I am going to go ahead and uh, put great strength. We cannot do devastating crit because, uh, yeah, we got to make sure the strength lands there when it's after leveling. And we're going to do armor skin. So now we get natural armor plus two. So that's good. And plus one point to strength. So now we got 25 strength. So we're very strong. So we're leveling up our uh, fighter. So it'll be discipline, heal, tumble. Get that. And sorry, no feats there. The next feat we're going to get will be devastating crit so put your point in the strength so we have 26 strength that's one point well over the requirement for devastating crit and i decided to do one point persuade and of course uh spellcraft i'm getting the spellcraft for every five points you get uh save throws against spells so we're doing devastating crit if your foe fails a 4-2 to check and they are not immune to crits they will die very good to have so we'll just keep on leveling up our fighter with Discipline, Heal, and Tumble. We're two points away from stopping. Goal is 20 Tumble, by the way. So we're going to just keep on leveling up. And let me see what else I could uh, do. Now at this point, I have options. I could have done with starting my constitution, but I figured let's just boost up our strength up some more. 27 on the strength. Felt like that was the best way to go. So we'll level up our fighter with Discipline, Heal, Spellcraft, and of course Persuade. Always optional. Now at this point, I am going to go ahead and select, where is it at? Knockdown. This is optional. If you want to, you could do is more hit points or more other things. I felt knockdown was good, just a basic one that was good enough. So we'll level up our fire some more with discipline heal. And uh, let's see, where is it at? Okay, tumble. We're going to put points in that. I'm um, sorry, no feats again. And we'll keep leveling up. So we're going to put strength at 28. So we're going to have high strength, everyone. Discipline heal. We're getting close to maxing out that. Hit the OK button. And now, if you pick, uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and pick uh, Great Strength. Now, Epic Toughness, if you uh, want to, if you have not uh, gotten yourself blind fight and you're not a human, go ahead and pick that. Otherwise, if you don't like blind fighting, uh, just do Epic Toughness for uh, 20 more hit points. It's up to you all on that. And I also did the Great Strength this way. I could reach 30 Strength at 40. Felt like that was the best option. So I'm going to go ahead and do Discipline Heal, Spellcraft, and of course Tumble. Hit the OK. And no feats there. Now we're getting closer to closer to level 40. Yeah, we're uh, almost there, everyone. So let's see here. Discipline Heal. And yep, there you go. After that, will be two levels left. I am no longer going to go ahead and put points in the Tumble. I felt like I have the four AC points I need. And we're just keep leveling up. At this point, I decided to, you know what? Let's go ahead and build some more hit points since it's 23 hit points, right? Get a little bit on the defensive end, if you know what I mean. So, just pick the usual suspects and the skills. Um, Persuade's optional. We capped that out anyways. And I uh, decided not to do tumble. Instead, I am going to go ahead and work on spellcraft. We'll be able to hit that 20 at least. So, I am going to do uh, right now is, uh, let's see, where is it at? Epic Toughness 3. I could do other ones, but nah. I felt like that was the best way to go. I could have done with Epic uh, Resistance. But I felt like this was the best way to get more hit points. So we're going to pick Fighter. Strength at 30. Maybe more, depending on your, your setup. Like, for example, Half Orc. So we're going to pick the uh, final skills. Make sure Discipline and Heal's maxed out. That's most important. And now you could do is get more hit points, number one. 
or uh, number two, improve knockdown. I said I get more hit points. And you're going to see why with this setup I'm at over 500 hit points. And that's it for the leveling part of the video. Next part is the gear advice. And here we go. Now, as for gear goes, for ability scores, go for strength, dexterity, and constitution. Those are the main three. Now, for uh, boost of speed, yeah, that's uh, fine until you get speed on your weapon. In other words, haste, I should say. Now, as for uh, weapon enchantments, plus 10, try to go for uh, that. Unless, of course, you're doing Hordes of the Underdark, try to do the talking method and just go for uh, plus 8 at least on it. Now, as far as uh, keen, yeah, put that on a weapon. That's very nice. Now, if you have Charisma, yeah, there's one two Purple Dragon Knight feet that does use that. You could do that too. Wisdom is always nice. Now, if you need some save throws, yeah, go for those definitely, especially the weak end of it. Fortitude I have on there is high enough already. And as for potions, definitely get the stat boosting ones and the heal ones are always nice. So let's go ahead and do the combat portion of the video. Now we're at the combat portion of the video to demonstrate. So what we're going to do right now is go ahead and uh, attack our foes who can be critical hit. Now, if you're casting fear, be very uh, careful for a few reasons. You get interrupted. It's like a spell. Yeah, you see I'm about to get interrupted, but still... Because I have Devastating Crit and some other nice feats too. I can really do some damage too. Now if you have a party for example. Yeah you can pop up that rally and other things too. So now you're asking wait a second. That's good against uh, folks you can do critical hits. But what happens if I'm facing say for example undead. Well guess what. You get to do some damage. And plus I am going to go ahead and show the uh, one uh, feat ability. Yeah Oath of Wrath. So we're going to go ahead and just target our lich friend here. Yep, see, we uh, target it, so our goal now is to kill the Lich first, since we could do some extra damage again against it. Yep, a few more hits, and that Lich is going to die, despite the fact I have no critical hits. So, there you go. Now, we're going to go ahead and finish off his uh, buddy, too. Just use some buffs up, and voila! We're about to uh, kill this fool, and there you go. So, uh, let me uh, go ahead and give some nice final advice for this uh, video, and here we go. Now, first of all, fire is the best path to quickly get to the Purple Dragon Knight. Unfortunately, Purple Dragon Knight has some alright skills. It's just uh, limited to five levels. However, it's uh, good for the uh, Wyvern Crown Premium Module 1. Yeah, that one is great. If you could get any more riding ones, that's good for it too. I didn't spend time on ride. I felt like that's the uh, weakest skill in Neverwinter Nights. Other than that, with the uh, other feats from the fire level and the weapon master level, it'll make up for some of the purple dragon knight's weaknesses. Well, everyone, this is it for my Neverwinter Nights Warrior Purple Dragon Knight build video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thank you for watching and have a great day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this and do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated on my videos and more. If you like more videos like I suggested, check out the one on the upper left. And on the bottom left, if you like YouTube suggestion of my videos.